Hey everybody, I'm Carson from the Austin Nature and Science Center. And I like to spend my time going outdoors, exploring on hikes, and connecting with nature. And I'm here to talk about how we can have fun outside and learn while also being safe. Hey everybody, so today I have a really cool activity that uh, will let us use bits and pieces of nature that we find and enjoy and we get to set them on display for us to visit later. Uh, this is a common trend recently called tiny museums where many people will set up these little exhibits just for their small pets. Here are some examples to help visualize what I'm talking about. This trend to create tiny works of art was made popular by Instagram pages like Tiny Art Show. They install tiny art shows in unexpected places, trying to make viewing and owning art more available to everyone. You can get an idea of how small these museums would be and how they might be set up from these examples. This next museum idea was made by a couple in London in order to give their pet gerbils a fun museum to explore. These two gerbils, Pandoro and Tiramisu, have a great time exploring their exhibit. This final museum was made by Jill Young for their pet gecko. This video has famous art recreated with geckos as the main focus. How fitting! Both of these videos are interesting and entertaining to watch, and a link will be in the description to check both these projects out. So, for our museum, I want us to have a theme of nature to inspire our creations. Some examples of things that I may put on display are things that I find outside that I thought were special. These could be sticks, cool rocks, bits of plants, shells, or dead bugs. This is what I plan to use. Make sure that when you are collecting these artifacts that you are respecting nature. Please don't kill bugs or pull up living plants to make this activity. There are many other things you can create to fill your museum. To fill in a space for my tiny exhibit, I'm going to color some pictures of things I find and like about nature. These can be drawings of your favorite place outdoors, your favorite bird or bug, or your favorite wildlife animal. Ask anyone around you for some help coming up with ideas if you're still stuck. Here's where I'm going to start out my museum, in a shoebox. You can use whatever kind of box you can find, or whatever you feel like creating on. I had some colorful paper that I could use to decorate, but you can use as much or as little craft supplies that you have at home. Get creative, and don't worry about how good it turns out compared to other people's creation. This activity is all about you and your connection with nature, so it's specifically made just for you. Think about how an art gallery or a museum might look on the inside. What might be on the walls and what is in the middle of the room? If you're stuck on what a museum this small might look like, look at these examples mentioned at the beginning. When you are finished, put your museum on display for everyone. You could even ask them to help and contribute to your tiny museum, so that it's a project that everybody gets to enjoy. Now, when you're stuck inside and need some inspiration, you can go and visit your tiny museum. If you have any toys that would fit inside, feel free to walk them around and narrate their experience inside your museum. So I had a really fun time putting this project together and I hope that y'all enjoyed it too. I'm Carson from the Austin Nature and Science Center and I hope y'all have a great day. See you next time.